I don't think there's a city in South Africa that's quite as car crazy as Durban. And from hot hatch to supercar, Durbanites love their rides. What's more, the vehicles in question don't have to be the latest models, and a recent event showed just how stylish the senior citizens of the road can be. Let's go for a spin. Considering the quality of roads at the time, it's amazing that any of the early automobiles have survived to this day. But a surprising number are still going strong, thanks to the dedication of vintage, veteran and classic car fans. Some 200 of these petrol-powered darlings arrived for the competition, and the sun was glinting on brass, chrome and polished lacquer when Karishma arrived. Durban is hosting the prestigious Concorde Elegance event for the first time this year and motoring enthusiasts can be expected to be taken on a whimsical journey as timeless classic cars go head-to-head -head in a competition of elegance. This is a beauty event for which contestants can never be too old and they're welcome to reveal everything under their bonnets. It's also a perfect match for Durban, as John Aretha explained. John, welcome to Mela. Thank you very much. Can you tell me a bit more about the event today? Today's event is uh, the Concours d'Elegance and is really a, an exhibition and a contest of classic cars from 1900 up to 1990. Open to the owners of the vehicles to come and display and win some great prizes. Why did you choose to become involved with an event like this? Durban is the capital of modern vehicles. It's a car crazy city. So that's one of the main reasons to want to do this, bringing the industry together. It's just about building relationships. What are you looking forward to most today? Lots to look forward to. We've got a great, great young fashion house that is displaying beautiful models. So great day, happiness, sunshine, couldn't ask for better. Motoring really came into its own in the early decades of the previous century. And it was more than a little roaring 20s inspiration to the outfits on parade, along with contemporary African influences. The fashion was eye-catching, but even the models couldn't steal all the attention away from the four-wheeled rivals. Enthusiasts are all in a long-term relationship with their classics, as co-organizer Avish Maharaj explained. What drew you to becoming involved with an event like this? I've always had a lot of passion, a lot of interest in Concours and the whole concept of it. And this is just my kind of way of giving my own spin and giving my own input to it. What are some of the highlights that we can look forward to today? The highlights of today, I would say, would be the unveiling of the mystery vehicle, which I can give you a little hint, is the only one of its kind in the world. And then we've got a lot of beautiful bespoke vehicles that belong to some very famous people. We've got uh, the President Samora Michelle's car here. The late President's sky blue convertible is just what you need to enjoy the sunshine on Africa's southeastern coast. And this Stuttgart rarity is the pride and joy of its owner, Mr. Boston Munsami. Boston, what drew your interest to a car like this? Well, basically, my former business colleague is a classic car freak. So he's been trying to get me into classic cars for years. And so I told him, OK, if you want to get me a classic car, let it be the only one in the world. So that's how we got into buying this car. How do you feel being a part of today's event? Well, very exciting. I mean, this is a classic event. Uh, good for Durban, good for cars, uh, good for tourism and good for everything. It's a, quite an exciting event. Meanwhile, the judges were scrutinizing the old-timers with merciless attention to detail. Stringent standards are applied to the scoring, as head judge Peter Hall explained. Peter, what is the criteria for entering the competition? What we're looking for is cars that have been restored to a very high standard, but as original as possible. Can you take me through the judging process? We've got three categories in judging. We've first got our mechanical section, then we have judges that are paint uh, specialists, and then we have another two judges that do the interior of the vehicle. Speed definitely isn't a consideration in the judging or the scoring, and a tortoise on the road can be a winner on the day. For many enthusiasts, it's all about nostalgia. What I love about an event like this is more the history behind it. I think that it's really interesting because, you know, you watch old movies and you see these cars and just to see them live, it, it's really special. It, it, it just has a lot of rich history, I think. Squealing ties aren't part of the soundtrack of this type of event, so the pipe band of the Durban Regiment motored on instead. Much like horse racing, classic cars are a draw card for glamour. 
Well, this is the first Kunko Elegance held in Durban and I must say it's quite phenomenal. For all the car lovers, this is one event that they have to attend every year. The cars that are on showcase are absolutely amazing. The vintage range has been phenomenal and it's such a variety showcase here at the Durban Kunko Elegance. I think the woman enjoyed it more. We got a chance to dress up to look good. It was definitely a winner for the woman. <laughs> the judges checked the scores and Mr. Conrad Urshazen was a proud owner of the most elegant classic of the day. To win the inaugural Concours d'Elegance, this is a great privilege and a very, very good honor. I'm an old soul at heart, so being around these timeless classics was truly magical. Motoring enthusiast or not, this was certainly an event to remember.